we will start the recording and then you're just going to turn around this way you're going to stop here and you're going to unload the cargo okay that is so tight <laughs> I want to drive uh, fast, uh, uh, you know, within reason, of course, just because that means then that we get we get the material moved more quickly. Yeah, damn it! I should have killed him. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to continue uh, setting up our little mini coal power plant uh, that we started in the last episode. First of all, though, we have another research to do here. Let's take a look and see what we have this time. Uh, alternate bolted frame. Uh, that just takes reinforced plates and screws. It gives us five per minute. I think I like that. Because I think right now we're only making two per minute. Yeah, let's take that. Okay. Um, because you're making... What, you're making frames? No, you're making rotors. But if we were making the frames... Um, modular frame. Yeah, see, this only gives us two per minute. And this one gives us five per minute. That's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, um, I like that recipe for sure. And uh, you see, you're, you've are you been working on rotors. So that would take reinforced plate and iron rods. Uh, we got 160 rotors on us right at the moment, plus, plus these. Yeah, why don't we switch this back to... to frames. Uh, so we need... Iron rods. Guess I'm going to have to take that apart to get the screws out of it. And what we'll do then here is we'll let this bin just fill up with uh, copper sheeting because we're going to need a lot of that later on anyway. Alright, so let's put rods into you. And you're already making the plates, so what we'll do is just... Oh, we got lots of plates, yeah. We'll put you into here. Here they come. I forgot to put a lift on there, but that's okay. I just want to make sure this will start up. Uh, no, wait, hold on. We need the alternate recipe. That There we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the screws are starting to come in. We should see the plates come in here in a moment. There they go. Okay, so it's just got to fill up with screws. We can actually help that by doing that. There we go. And uh, these, I have a few more screws than I think we need to be carrying around with us. Um, so let's just keep two full stacks with us. And we should be loaded up pretty good on all of the other... All the other stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in our tractor here and head on over to the other end of this little coal power plant thingy that we're doing. Oh, you know what? I forgot to... I forgot to build our new ramp here. Now that we have the... The new, uh, what, whatchamacallit types of ramps? The double ramps. Um, let's go with a f four meter. Yeah. Change that to zoop.
Ah, that looks so much better. So much better indeed. For here, we'll just put in a normal two meter ramp to smooth that out. I love it. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to drive to the location that we're going to go. And when we when it comes time for us to record the route for the tractor, I'll kind of show you, you know, uh, more or less where we're going to do that. It's it's really easy when we get out here, the, the somewhat tricky part, and it's certainly not that big of a deal, but there's just a little bit of jank around the base um, that we have to figure out. Give me your giblets, dude. Um, you know, so yeah, there's a couple there's a couple options, but the pathway, um, you know, once we get away from the main base is is, is pretty straightforward. <laughs> Good lord. Okay. It's probably actually best that we're getting rid of these guys right now anyway, because when I am recording the path, I don't want them to be in the way. But uh, basically what we'll do is we'll come through here, we cross the, this ford, and then what we'll do is we'll go around this direction, and we could turn right and go up that hill, but I think it's just a little bit smoother to go around this way. Just kind of turn around through here, go through this section, <clears throat> past the poison. We'll get rid of those once we get novelists. I believe that's the only way you can get rid of them, as far as I know. And we just kind of come out into this little sandy area. And right down here to these two coal deposits. Um, okay, so let's see here. Let's go over this way. And uh, we're gonna have some dudes to deal with here. Are we on normal? Yeah, normal rebar. There's four hogs that hang out at these deposits. I must have missed him. Definitely missed him that time. down there. That one's like taking off. Whoa, no, 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 no. That's not what we're trying to do. Come here, you bastard. Right in the ass. It's gotta hurt. I could make a comment about a piece of rebar up the ass, but I don't think I will because that's just a little bit crass, you know? Uh, anyway, let's pick up the miners here and the coal because we no longer need these guys here. Uh, Mr. Balloon Guy, you are going to have to move because you are right smack dab in the way. Um, so I hate to do this to you, buddy. I really do, but rebar in the ass. Hey, he's gone. <laughs> I know I'm a terrible human being. Okay, so... We are going to get started with a little platform over here, and I want, uh, let's just get rid of the, this stuff here. Uh, hello, there you go. 
give us a little bit more biomaterial. Oh shit, I'm out of biofuel. How did you get over there? Is that where I parked it? Maybe it is. It should just put the parking brake on automatically. Um, let's put the coal in here. We don't need it in our inventory. And we only need we actually only need no, we need two of these for Yeah, we're going to we're going to start with two. Um Okay, let's get about that many of these. We'll put you back in here. Okay. That should be good enough for that. Let's get you back in here. Okay, so uh, what we want to do is get uh, the big, big foundations right about over here. Press control to get it on the global and build out this way. be fine there. Go about that way. And we'll do one more on the back side here. Okay, we're not going to utilize um, this uh, ore deposit right now. We may later, but not, not today. That day is not today. That's probably enough. Let's get our miner down first. And we're going to point it to this direction. Okay. Now let's get our truck station down. Um station and I think for this one we're going to <clears throat> no I don't want to do that because it if we do put a miner there later I don't want this thing in the way so let's bring this over to about maybe here when we do put this miner here I think it'll kind of It'll probably go that direction. Yeah. I mean, we can actually keep this here. Now, uh, we, we just don't, I'm just not gonna hook it up right now. Whoops. It's, yeah, it's probably better to keep it there just because it'll, uh, you know, then we know what we have to work around in the more I think about it, I think I am going to put it this direction. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So these are the two inputs for this station. And this station is a pick-up station or a load station, so it's already set properly there. Um, like we did before, though, we want to... Uh, hook up the bottom one to the fuel so it puts coal in there for refueling. And then if we put a lift on here and go up, was it th three, I think? Don't remember. Yeah, that, I, I think that's correct. We're going to find out here in a second. Okay, line up. Go back two. Go up. One more. Um, oh, no. That's right. Yeah, we don't want to go up one more. Oh, I'm doing this bass backwards. 
So, one of you guys told me, unless I misunderstood something, let's try this again. You said if I press middle mouse button, it flips the belt. That did not happen. It's, it's wanting to copy whatever I'm looking at, which is the normal function of that key. If I do this... Yeah, no, that doesn't work. I, I don't know. I don't know what that individual meant by that. I very well could be misunderstanding what they said. But I don't see any way to, f to flip the belt. Um, and this is also in the wrong place. Anyway, it needs to be over here because that's an input these are outputs All right we're going to run this at full capacity it's going to give us 60 per minute which is exactly what we need because four coal power plants take in 15 per minute for a total of 60 so that'll be perfect in terms of that um, well actually you know what though That we're not running a conveyor line directly to it. I'm pretty sure the truck, one single tractor on this route, should be able to keep up with it. Is that... That doesn't look straight to me. Is it? Maybe it is. It's so close that I'm not going to worry about it. It does look like it's... It is going slightly... Down, though. But that isn't something... Well, okay, let's try something. Let's just put this up, too. One, two. I think that's still the same, isn't it? Yeah, if, if it's... That should match up. Um, oh, you know what? That's the problem. This guy's not actually sitting flush on the foundation. It's up a little bit. Oh. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm not going to worry about it because I don't want to re We'd have to redo all of this. I don't want to do it. It's close if it was badly off, I would redo it, but it's it's something you're not even going to really notice unless you're looking for it. So we're going to leave it as it is. Um, if I ever rebuild this setup again, I'll, I'll, I'll make it right that time. But for now, I, I think we're good. Okay. So next we're going to do, uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to get some power going. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a power pole here because what we're going to do is we're going to run over by the water and we're going to set up a single coal power plant to power everything down here. So that way I don't have to run power lines all the way from the base over to this location. It's just too far. Yeah, we could do it and it would make sense to do it if we had conveyor lines, but we don't. So this is its own remote location and it needs to be self-sufficient. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's finish getting these lines connected. You need to go to there. Uh, so we'll put you on this seam. And up to there no clipping so we're good there and then we're not gonna hook up this miner right now guess let's go to there and to there wait oh no 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 not there to there That should be, whoop, that should be good. And then if and when we bring this one online, we have another power connection there. 
Okay, so that takes care of this thing, uh, except for we got to put some ramps in too. Um, let's go with... I guess I don't have ramps on my toolbar, so let's go into here. Uh, let's use the two meter ramps because the four meters are a little steep. It'll still work, but let's make this a little more gradual. Um, I guess we'll we'll just make it go all the way across. No harm in doing that. All right, we're getting there. We are getting there. Let's drive over here. We have two more coal deposits over here. Uh, they're both normals. So let's put down a, a four meter here on the global. Grab a portable miner out of our storage here. Miner. There we go. And we want to turn this... Uh, this way. Yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Okay, let's grab this. line and I uh, can't put it there as because it'll clip so we'll put it there and you know we'll we will quite possibly put be putting a miner on there later so let's where's your connections right there okay let's bring this to Actually, you know what? I'm just going to run it back this way, and then we can always move it later. It's not a big deal. I just don't want it, like, out. Sticking out in the open there. Uh, no, we net. We still need to come closer. Come closer. So we'll put you there. We'll run you up there, except for your clipping, so that's not going to work. Uh, so instead, we'll do you here. So that gets that hooked up. Let's zoop to here. You are not straight. How dare you? set to coal. Okay. Um, I guess I should probably get rid of all this bio stuff. Okay. Let's just run a line down to here. Is that right on the seam? Wow. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, now um, what we're gonna do is what's the clearance on this? We are gonna want to be able to drive through here. So I think we better put this on a lift. We're going to ramp down uh, with you. Ooh, that puts us right into the water. Yeah, that's that's not gonna work. So let's use the the uh, four. Uh, no, sorry, that's what I just did. The two double ramp four meter. No, I would I use the eights. Wait, did I? Yeah. Okay, what if we go with, um, yeah, I like that better. So we should be able to just do uh, one meter. doesn't want to... Uh, oh, oops, I just had it there a second ago. There we go. Whoops, I went into the to the water and it canceled it. It's just a matter of getting it to go the way you want it to go. Alright, so we're going to build that <clears throat> out to there. And this out to here. Let's get a coal power plant, coal generator. And the water's on that side. So we can line up. That's on that seam there. I think, yeah, right about there. So let's push this maybe out to there. All right, let's just put that there. I'm not planning on doing more than one one of these. And if we do in the future, I can always, you know, redo things as needed. And let's put you right there. Okay. So what happens if we just do that? It's not quite straight in. So what we want to do is the usual rule of two here. Except for it's not, yeah. Uh, it's not giving me the green line. So let's do it this way. Let's go there. And then two this way. What? No. Don't be doing that. Oh, you know what? Um, I think we need to move this back.
that looks right there and that, <clears throat> excuse me that looks right there nice 90 degree and we like it we like it a lot okay so if we put a lift in here uh, whoop I'm thinking that needs to go up. Let's try two and see if that's right. Too far down. Okay. Let's take it to here. That's too high. Okay, so... Let's go up one. Was too high, huh? I think I know what we need to do here. Let's do this the other way around. I think this does need to go up three. One, two, three. Let's run the belt out of here. To there. I'd say it still needs to go up one more. Uh, oh, well, and I got it. I got it crooked too. So let's do this. Let's take one of you. Okay, the reason... It still seems crooked. This is right on top of the foundations, so it should be okay height-wise. guess we need to move this over here. But if that's the case, then we didn't line it up properly. <laughs> okay, you know what it is? I, I know what it is. This miner is not perfectly on this seam. That's what the issue is. I should have known that already, but oh well. Um, so because of that, uh, there's no there's no way to fix that. It just is what it is. It's just going to be off a little bit. Well, I shouldn't say there's no way to fix it, but I'm not exactly sure, without thinking really hard about it, how we would fix it at this point. So I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. I think we're good. Other than the fact that this is janked a little bit. Because, um, you know, and I've said this before, it's because when you set a miner down, it sets it down, orientate, orientates it, at least laterally speaking, where the deposit is. It'd be nice if uh, Coffee Stain would adjust the ore deposits so they're on the global grid. That would be really nice. And then, oh, okay, so this is still 
This is either going up or down. I th think if we run this to here, I think that's level. You know what? I'm tired of fucking with this. Uh, we're going to keep the way it is because I don't think I raised this lift up. That's the default height. It's it's probably has something to do with how we went down at a 45 and then a uh, no, a 22 and then whatever this angle is. I think that's what's screwing us up a little bit there. It shouldn't though. Yeah, I think that's got to be it. I, I don't know why else that's messed up. But I'm tired of screwing around with it, so... The only, we can try one more thing. I don't know if this is going to work. Maybe it will. But I think this is going to make things too high on this end. See how it's raising up there now a little bit? Which doesn't... It doesn't just... It just doesn't make sense to me. Why raise it up when it needs to go down, you know? Alright, take two of them. I don't care. That's as good as it's going to get. And we just got some weirdness going on with the way... Uh, both, you know, the lateral angle of the miner and this kind of weird thing I did with the height of that. Okay, I think this was up four high. Yeah, it's level to there. Okay, that's as good as it's going to get. I'm not going to worry about it from here. Now, um, we're going to have to prime this system with a bio burner. Let's grab this power line and take it to here. Let's see the power connectors on that side, on both sides. But... Is that going to clip if I put that there? Uh-uh. Okay. Oh. I got myself in fly mode. That's clippity doo -dine. So we're going to do this. Be hitting shit. Okay, power's all hooked up. Let's go ahead and set up a biomass burner. And do I have biomass in my inventory? I do. just gonna uh, stick well here let's split that in half we'll put that in there and then we'll connect this to the grid you need uh, five megawatts of power I didn't think we exceeded Excuse me, balloon guy. All oh, right, it's uh, okay. So we have another. We have the miner. That yeah, we need more. 
I forgot we were doing that stuff too. Well, you know what we could do, actually? Let's just temporarily disconnect this, because we need to get this running first before we need to get that running. Okay. So we just need to prime the pump and get the, the water flowing in here. And, of course, the coal. Is that... Is that thing working? Yeah, it is. Here comes the coal. Okay. Oh, let's uh, let's definitely downclock this too. We only need 45 water per minute here. There's no reason to run it any more than that. So let's just grab us. Uh, well, yeah, I'll grab that coal there to prime it even further. And there it goes. Okay, we are now online with that power. And we should, yeah, this, there should be enough power to run all this. Guess we're going to find out in a second here. Oh, yeah, we're good. We have a total capacity of 75 uh, megawatts. And our maximum consumptions with everything over here hooked up is 35. So we were five and a half over the capacity of the bio burner. That's why it shut down on us the first time. Now we can also, uh, this only takes in 15 coal per minute. So we might as well down clock this guy for now too, since it's not doing anything else. Again, that's not super important because this is a an endless supply of power, but we'll do it anyway, just to be efficient. And we are good to go over here. All right, the last part of this endeavor is to record a truck route for our tractor. And what it'll do is it'll just deliver the coal to our main base and just keep perpetually doing that until I change it. Um. Let's see something here. Let's dump all of this coal into here. Uh, and it's got the fuel filled up as well. I, I think what we'll do is let's let's give this some time to to fill up. Um, what is your input? I I guess there really aren't limitations on the vehicle stations. They just take, or maybe there is. I don't know. But I think I'm just going to run this at full capacity because if I did have this set up on a conveyor back there, we would need 60 per minute to sustain it. So we'll just keep it that way. Did I? I did underclock the this, right? For some reason, my brain just decided to take a nap. Yeah, we did. Okay. Short-term memory, man. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. Let's pick a berry. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to drive back to the base 
and we're gonna set up we're gonna start the route over there and the reason for that is I could start it here start recording it here but I need to figure out a couple things on that end first before we start recording so let's head on back to the base grab another raspberry here in fact we might as well take a load back with us though right I don't want to do a dry run Load us up, man. We're a little bit far over, but as long as you're in the general vicinity. So this should now have all of that coal in there that we put in there, plus whatever else came through. Okay. All right, so we're back at the base here, and um, it's out of power, of course, but we're going to fix that permanently here in just a little while. Um, so we we have a couple of options for the path. We could go around this way, but if we do that, I'm going to have to cut a hole in the base of this, which we can do. It's not a big deal. To get around but there's a couple of sort of kind of jank spots if we go that way the other option is to go underneath the factory which I think we're probably gonna do but we also have to make sure I think uh, can we clear this yeah, yeah we can okay <laughs> All right, yeah, so we can we can clear that. And then what we would do is we would just drive around this way. Because the thing is, is with something like this, is you don't want to get it... You, you needed clearance. It'll, it does a pretty good job of following your path, but, you know, if you get it in a really tight spot, it could cause you problems. Right, okay. So I think what will happen then, if we're going to come in this way, um, the first thing let's do is I think I'm going to do that and then let's go to here and just put like little one meter ramps. There, to give it a nice little smooth path up onto the thing. Alright. Let's... T well, here. Actually, let's do this. Let's offload our coal. And that'll start feeding the co oh oh shit it's offloading everything <laughs> whoops the wood and everything okay that's weird I, I mean no it's not weird actually it makes perfect sense it's just it doesn't specify what it's offloading it's just offloading whatever's in the truck all right, so let's pull that back out of there and make sure the only thing this has in here is coal. All right, okay. There it goes. Okay, now it's going to... Oh, hold on, there were still a couple leaves in the buffer there. Just watching it and make sure that all all it's feeding is coal. Okay, I think we're good. All of these guys should be full of water. So theoretically, once the coal hits them, they should start up. 
Or at least the first one will. That's actually a, a good point, because this... We should grab... We need to help these guys get started here, so let's cut that in half. Okay, so this is getting... Right, we'll cut. We'll, we'll prime it anyways. Okay. So we... Um, this might shut down again before before we get you know it fully up and running so with our bio burners included we now have a capacity of 570 megawatts however um, the power grid will not use the bio burners as long as we have enough coal power which is reflected by this production number of 300 megawatts um, you know, to, to power everything, which we should right now because we're, we're only at, you know, 240, 50-ish consumption. Uh, but it won't be very long at all, though, before we have to add some more of these, but we can do that when the time comes. All right, let's do the last part of this thingy here, and then we'll get this tractor going, and I'll, I'll just build another tractor for us to put putt around in. So what we'll do is... We're going to be coming in from that direction. So I think we'll start the recording right here. Okay, so let's press Q. Start recording. And then he'll just kind of go over here, turn around. Except for I did that a little too wide. So let's let's, let's do that over. It would have worked, but let's get it nice and neat. All right, I'm back. I had to, I had a phone call from the doctor's office. Um, okay, so let's let's go ahead and try this again. We will start the recording, and then you're just going to turn around this way. You're going to stop here, and you're going to unload the cargo. Okay. And then here we go. That is so tight. <laughs> I want to drive uh, fast, uh, at, you know, within reason, of course, just because that means then that we get we get the material moved more quickly. I should have killed him. Well, that might that might be okay. We'll we'll check it. You know, once it's it's all done, we'll see how well it does.
right down the center of the poison. here and we will load up very good we'll come back around this way and head back We'll probably end up deleting that one spot where we flip up, flipped up into the air. Um, we'll, we'll see what it does though when we when the autopilot goes through there. It might not matter at all. Just gonna go through here a little bit more slowly. Look out, doggo! There we go. Okay. We're going to press R to save this path, and we're going to call this <clears throat> um, R, whoops, RD for Rocky Desert Coal Route. And we're going to save that. Very good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to enable the autopilot, and we're going to hop off. And we're going to just fly and watch it and see how it does. So right now it's going to um, offload. And then it should take off to go hit the next load here in a second. There it goes. Look at all that coal in there. Yeah, those shut down. But once, once this is up and running, it'll keep... It should be able to keep it going. Okay, so let's just follow it and see what it does. Um, I can remove... In fact, why don't we... Well, hold on. I want to just watch it for now. I'll remove those cactuses later. So no problems coming through here. Now, if we were, if we were doing this as a permanent setup, I would build an actual road for it. But... Um, but this is just kind of a quick and easy thing for now. I'm curious to see what it's going to do when it gets to that part where we ran over the hog, though. Because we can delete any of these little waypoint markers. Um, you know, if they cause problems. Okay, this is where the... This one <laughs> right here is the weird one. Let's just see what it does. It, it just slowed down. It didn't really affect anything. Okay. Um, but if we wanted to, we could edit and just delete the node. And then it'll just, obviously, it'll just follow from this one right to that one uh, and be a little bit smoother. The rest of this should be good. I don't think we had any other real janky spots. Get another load here. It usually waits for, I don't know, 
10 seconds or so. I suppose it's just simulating getting completely loaded up. Now if you hop on the tractor itself, then you can retake control of it. Um, but if you hop off, then autopilot just kicks in at the next waypoint. All right. I think we're done, guys. I think we got this set up. While we're in this area, I want to get a screenshot of everything we did here. Oh my god, that guy jumps high. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Wow. Okay. Ah. That's the, that giant spider I was telling you about earlier. He can't quite get to us this high. Okay, so... Um... I want to kind of get the whole thing in the picture, so we're going to have to back up a little bit more. And, yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Let's try it down a little further. Because my damn hand keeps getting in the way. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You know what I could do here is just move this bridge over to this side to get across. Yeah. Yeah. Then we don't have to even worry about, you know, crossing over this. Um, all right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I will show you one thing before we leave, uh, before we wrap it up here. Um, I just want to show you where that pure Kater uh, Katerium note is that I found, you know, just by, you know, flying around. I wasn't flying around to find Caterium nodes. I was flying around to try and figure out how I was going to do all this. Because my my first plan was going to be, there. there's a pure node right up there on that cliff. Actually, it's right over there. And I was going to run some conveyor systems down. And then I got to thinking, you know what? Because this isn't a, a permanent situation, I think I would rather... Oh, there's a hard drive up there, too. I'd rather... um. There it is. Uh, use a, a truck route instead. But uh, I think one of these little plateaus has a pure Caterium node on it. Don't remember which one now. That's limestone. That's limestone. I thought it was this one. Is it just not rendering in or something? No, it should have rendered in by now. Maybe it was over here. Hmm. Maybe... Oh, there it is, right there. Okay. So, in regards to the flying thing, too, by the way, I'm... Oh, look at our guy. There he goes. <laughs> uh, I'm not... I don't use this to, to cheaty, cheaty cheat. Like, for example, I won't fly up to that butte to get the hard drive. We'll have to do that the legit way, which means we have to, we'll have to build some kind of a ramp up there. And likewise, you know, when, when the time comes for us to use tap into this, um, we'll build a ramp system up here to get to it. So I really only use the flying, you know, for planning, you know, planning out uh, systems and that sort of thing. And for, in this case, you know, following our truck and making sure that it's actually doing the route the way that it's supposed to. So I just wanted to throw that out there because, you know, I don't, I, I don't like to cheat. It spoils the game. But for stuff like this, this is, I, I consider this more like administrative stuff, if you will. And I don't mind using it for that kind of thing. Okay. Anyway, um, I think we're good, guys. So once this is fully operational, uh, if it isn't already... I'll keep an eye on it, but I'm pretty sure our little tractor won't have any trouble keeping, an, you know, uh, 60 coal per minute is what it'll boil down to. Uh, over here, 
And uh, once that's done, you know, then we have a permanent power source now. And these guys will just sit here they and they'll keep their fuel in them and they'll only kick in if at the point where we exceed 300 megawatts of power. And when that happens, then all we do is we just start adding more um, coal power plants. And we have plenty of room to extend out this way pretty much as far out as the border of the world if if we wanted to but this is not this is not our main you know going to be our main coal power plant our main coal power plant we're going to build down the coast that way um and it, it's going to be much larger than this and, and quite a bit more involved so with that being said i'm going to let you guys go here thank you very much for watching i hope you all enjoyed this episode and if you did Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.